Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. If you're wondering whether I have decided to do Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine before the ending of the main quest or the other way around, I haven't yet because I am uh, recording this right after the previous episode. So uh, it will be... I think we'll probably... You'll probably know my decision by next episode. So that should be, I think, episode 107. Yeah, 107. So, uh, today we're going to do I, what I believe to be a special kind of secondary quest. We're going to do the Tower Out of Nowhere. So, uh, the people here at I'm at Uriala Harbor believe that there's a mysterious island with a tower that just appeared out of nowhere. Sounds like the Isle of Mists to me, but uh, we'll talk to these fishermen to try and find out a bit more. What is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. Okay, sounds friendly. This guy looks a lot like Lambert, by the way. So what's the matter? You see that knoll beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till oh. one day we awoke, bam! There were a tower atop it. Okay then. And all that sounds impressive. Pounding down, as if the Noggle Fair itself was sailing in. Hasn't stopped to this day. The Nagelfar is the ship of the uh, the Wild Hunt, so the the big metal ship that we've seen before. Gotta be done. About the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish nor sail out to raid. Okay, have you have any has anyone tried to go inside of the tower? You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door, and that's when our knees turned to jelly. Okay. Why, beyond that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it were magic. Gathered five brave lads, and they all marched in. No sign of him since. That actually sounds awesome. We'll look into it. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your oil around for the folk from our village. Our druid and five good lads. Ah, oh, it'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Because this sounds a lot like something from the books. There is a story in one of the books with the short stories, I think. One of the two short story compilations that talk about a friendly sorcerer that Geralt knew uh, that had also uh, that also had a tower next to a village which was filled with all sorts of illusions so I'm wondering if this is a throwback to that but I guess we'll see in a second now will we I do however have forgotten the sorcerer's name so I can't really help out with that maybe it sounds familiar hi Cyclops so let's take out this guy first. He didn't hit me at all. There we go. I'm, I've become a sort of powerhouse, I think. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. So it looks awesome. And I'm really, really curious to see what's inside. Can I go straight through the forest here? Yes, I can. Okay. I'd say bring it on. This is a level 30 quest, so I'm wondering what kind of creatures there will be inside. Sounds like a portal. It sounds like a portal, so... Uh, well, I must say the description of the man wasn't really that off. It does kind of look like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Uh, I'm gonna go up. There's nothing here. Okay, never mind. Never mind that I tried. There we go. Uh, closed. Okay. Looked smaller from the outside. There is a golem over there. So let's. Well, if the portal didn't close behind me, we could, but. Uh, 
Predator neutralization commence. Okay then. Defeat the golem. Let's see in my inventory really quickly. So a golem is an elementa, so we're going to use elementa oil to try and take it out. So as always, Quen and uh, the urn sign. And heavy strikes. Oh my god, it's a Wookiee. There's a sorcerer behind the uh or that might have been might be the druid. Ah oh, god damn it. There we go. So again, pretty stupid slog to kill these. So there's a few dead people over here. And, of course, the guy at the other side of the portal. The golem doesn't seem to have left some loot. Uh, so let's loot this place really, really quickly. And let's see if we can't do anything about this. Finally, someone's come to free me. And a famous witcher at that. Thank the gods. A druid with armor. I'm damned lucky you happen to be in Korea. Was it King Tancred who sent you? Oh. Or the Society of Magic? Neither. What? And we're not in Kavir. We're in Skellige. Local folk hired me. See, your towers brought a massive storm to their island. We're in... in Skellige? So we've teleported? Oh, this is much worse than I thought. Wait, are you the guy that got this tower here or not? Let me guess. You lost control of the golem. Imprisoned you here, then attacked me. My, no, that's not it at all. The golems are but one of the tower's defenses. Part of its defensive regulatory magic on. What? A defensive system. Magic. Ensuring only the tower's owner will use it. When it detects an intruder, it locks down all the rooms, denies access. And since neither of us is the tower's owner, the golem attacked me and you're stuck behind bars. How do we evade its other charming features? We must deactivate the defensive regulatory magic on. The tower's prior owner wrote a treatise about removing such defenses. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. And did you read it already? There must be a copy in the tower. Ah, okay. Find it, please. With it in hand, I can try to circumvent the security measures. This so guy looks awesome, by the, the way. Back to Kavir. Okay. So the tower moved itself here? Seen my share of wonders, but a tower that teleports itself? That's something new. This defensive regulatory magic on. I tried to access it. Must have heard. Initiated some evacuation sequence. That opened the portal and jettisoned us through to Skellige. This, in turn, naturally generated electromagnetic disturbances. Hence the storm. Okay, storm that kind of explains everything. Then you must find Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. Okay then, and who are you precisely? You clearly know who I am. I don't even know your name. Sego Bunce. Sego Bunce. sorcerer in residence at the court of Pompvanis. This tower was to be my new home. Bought it at an auction, you see. A tower at an That kind of backfired. To Gottfried Stamfeld, a mage of some renown. When he passed on, his heirs auctioned the edifice off. They were all wary, repulsed. None dared see what Uncle Godfrey kept in his coloured jars. If it was their contents that had stripped him of his sense of smell and taken his left eye, they put the tower on the block along with all it contained. The price was unbeatable. I couldn't resist. Okay, so that kind of explains that. And uh, did you know what happened to the? Do you know what happened to the Skelligers that came before me? The corpses over there, folk from the village nearby, right? They came in a few days past. I was surprised to see their garb, but it just never entered my mind we might be in Skelliger. There were just a few, led by a druid. The tower warned them. They failed to heed. Folk on Skellig usually laugh in the face of warnings. 
If the tower had asked nicely and offered them a horn of mead, they might have left then. But the portal closed behind us, so that wouldn't really help as well. But okay, let's find this uh, omni opening thingy. Right. Time to get out of here and send this tower home. Where do I look for Gottfried's treaties? Any ideas? Hmm, the library might be a logical place to start. The key should be in the laboratory. Where's that? As you enter the room opposite, you'll see the laboratory to your left. The library straight ahead. But remember, you're an intruder. The tower is certain to want to stop you. Make things difficult at the least. We'll yeah, see who breaks I first. expected that one. Seagobuns. So, let's try and follow Seagull's advice and go inside of the room here. So, he now opened that for me, which is a nice start, I suppose. Aqueous. So, does that mean just water countermeasures activated? Just flooded the whole thing? I don't know what the water is going to do to me, but I guess I'll find out. There's a lot of stuff around here. Is there something over here? No. Although it does look like the map says there is a hallway around here. But that doesn't look like it, now does it? So let's go through here. This is actually really cool. Uh, hello. Oh god. All ghouls. Three of them. I think I might want to use Axie on this thing. So there's one down. They have their spikes out right now, so I need to be extremely careful. Because if I attack them, I'm just gonna lose everything. Because they heal rather quickly as well. So now he killed the other one. I think, because he was moving. Okay. Oh god. A, go a fucking gargoyle? Seriously. That was a shield ride on time. Let's put a few urn signs down. Ooh, this is gonna take a while. So, having fun with glyphs kind of fixed that problem. And there's a werewolf! Great! Great! Great. Fucking amazing. So let's turn this bad boy to pass. And now there's a cow here. Okay. So that was interesting. A nice amount of loot at least, because the all ghoul stuff, I think that might come in handy later on. My in one of the scavenger hunts. So let's see, we're at his laboratory here. So the key to the other place should be, to the library should be here. Yeah, I certainly want to do that. Okay, so now let's check out this place a bit. The book about two saints. There's another bookshelf over there, but I can't really access it. Oh, I can. Again, again, again. That's nothing new. 
There's something on top of there as well. Oh, I can get up here through this place, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Because there seems to be a bit of loot here. Okay, never mind. Okay, I got there. I'm glitching all over the place, but I got there. Nothing. Okay, okay, of course. So never mind all that. Uh, is there something else here? Didn't think so, because we came here for the key. What's this? There's a pot on the ground, but that's probably my art sign that did that. And over here, there's another dead guy. And, of course, the cow, but... Torn to bits, probably by one of the monsters that Tink called in. So there's nothing over here. Just want to check this place out a bit, because I believe that if we're done with this quest, the tower will disappear. So anything that's here... Okay, a woman with bread. Thanks for that. So let's head back out and uh, try to gain access to the library. Because I can't seem to really access the place that's over... Oh! Is that where I need to use the key? Oh. Collection integrity compromised. Okay. And what does that mean? Because I'm going to save. Just in case uh, this tower starts throwing even bigger things at me. But I would think that its supplies are drained permanently now. So that's more. Applied Golemancy. Gotta keep looking. I am I'm probably gonna find the like thing, the book in the back of the Not room. Gottfried's Omni Opening Grimoire. Ooh, that's nice. That is very nice. Uh, there's a box here. A runestone. Intersections and geomantic lines. Not what I'm looking for. No, it isn't. There's another chest here, behind the Great Veil. Uh, so that's not what we're looking for. There's a book over there, and there's a book here. Maybe that one? Yeah, Gottfried's Omni Opening Gottfried's Grimoire. Omni -opening Grimoire. I can read it. it. The Defensive Regulatory Magical, no DRM, DRM. <laughs> okay, I got you, uh, CD Projekt Red, I got you. Belongs to the above-mentioned group of the longest-lasting most effective and hardest to break defensive mechanisms. In order to recognize the individual administering it, it makes use of a portal mounted at the entrance of the area it is to defend. This portal passes streams of magical energy through the body of the person entering and can, in the blink of an eye, determine if this person has the corporeal signature, eyeball structure included, of the entitled administrator. As a result, the only unauthorized individuals that can possibly hope to enter are mimics. DRM, this makes for an extremely effective and near-unbreakable security measure. But you are in luck for you hold in your hands the key to bypassing it, namely the present tome, Gottfried's opening, Omni Opening Grimoire, or GOG for short. In the pages to follow you will find innumerable methods for deactivating DRM, or even better, bypassing it altogether. So GOG is the website, I think it's good old games, uh, where you can buy, well digitally buy, old games and I think they had a bit of a beef with uh, CD Projekt Red and I think this is kind of their tiny little stab at that because DRM is of course a means to uh, block off your game from any other user than the one that's actually buying it. Damn tower wants to gas me. Okay. Luckily that didn't drain any health. But that was a really nice nod to everything. A really really cool note. So let's see if we can open the barriers now. Well, if uh, Sigo can open it. Find the toll. Yes, we did. Oh, I could ask about it. This it. It is indeed. Now back away a bit. I must deactivate the barrier. Okay. okay. Oh, okay, that was... Thank you. There, at last. Not easy. The hardest part is yet to come. 
we must reach the heart of the tower and cast a deactivating spell. And this is a lot of work, isn't it? We do everything in its power to stop us. But uh, gladly accept that for a very interesting secondary quest. So let's do it. Lead the way. Can't talk about the book anymore, so I. It's sad that I missed that. And so let's see if we can't find anything here. Measures, the defensive regulatory magical react. Be on your guard. Okay, so the tower could react still to what we're doing. He opened the barrier, so that seems fine. Seago, don't run away right now. I want to check around the tower. What just happened? Something small inside. Earth Elemental. So let's go with the Earth thingy again. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Is the tower fighting me as well? Great. So the tower is blasting electricity as well, so that's... Beat it down! Okay. So that's another earth elemental down. Seagull, what were you doing over there, by the way? Did you uh, deactivate it? Gottfried's treaties proved highly useful. It's over. Okay, then. Had you not arrived, I'd still be in that cage, surely. It's a trifle, but take it, please. Proof of my gratitude. Well, I'm glad we could help, because this was a really cool no, quest. I'm more than satisfied if you calmed that storm, then took this tower somewhere else. Consider it done. And should you ever visit Kuvir, do stop by Pompvanis. We will, although I don't think we ever will go to Kuvir. He doesn't want to teleport. Not this way, the door. That was awesome. So uh, the tower, the tower, the tower, the tower actually disappeared already. So that was cool. And we got the moon blade. And that's some thundering thing, he's still alive. <laughs> okay then. Is that? That kind of looks like a pre-rendered cutscene, doesn't it? They're really glad to see me back. You're alive, and in one piece. Well, well it's so not pretty rendered, apparently. Will you teach me to fly? Another <laughs> time, maybe. Never seen such marvels in me life. Boom, flash, tower disappeared, and you was fallen from the sky. And a storm, gone in an instant. Glad we could help. I tell you, it's one of which we needed. Hmm. Can't do better than an expert. And yes, expert you can. A fit and reward. Ooh, another reward. <laughs> no need, the mage in the tower paid me. I think we can agree on that, now can we? So he did. Thanks, but you need that coin a lot more than I do. Not enough that he's handy. He's noble too. Inga! What? He's, she Found said, I'm noble, tower. not sexy or something like that. Take it away from here. Rewarded me generously for my help. If that's so, we've not left but to say our thanks. Hey, well, if you ever come through here again, Stop him. He'll be welcomed with open arms. Thanks. Thank you, man. Farewell. Goodbye. Or isn't it? Hey, Witcher. Did you happen to see me brother in there? Horns his name. He went in with the druid and a few other lads. Um. I found your friends. They're all dead. No. I found your friends. All dead, unfortunately. Sorry. Told him not to go, but he wanted glory. Ah. It's best a man has on. closure. Standing here. Farewell, Witcher. 
Thanks again for helping. And lying won't help in that case. Okay, so that's the tower out of nowhere. So that was actually a really cool secondary quest. The uh, the title of the quest actually pointed towards it, but that was really cool, and we got to level 31. So we're getting really close to Hearts of Stone, actually, because I think that's that the recommended level is level 32 so uh, handy 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 so let's upgrade one of our skills so we can boost our Igni intensity a bit further there we go and that's it for this episode that was an amazing secondary quest kudos CD Project Red uh, so thank you guys enormously for watching I'm gonna take a little break if you liked the video liked the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a talk to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate, really, really appreciate any help you guys can give me. Mm. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.